Wow, this looks quite cool. Looks like someone's been felling trees and making makeshift little bases here. Hello there, fellow explorer, and welcome to another video. And you join me in a place in my hometown of Shrewsbury that I feel slightly ashamed that I haven't explored before called Rebrook Valley Nature Reserve. I thought over the past 12 months I'd explored all the beauty spots in Shrewsbury, but obviously not. I'm on a very special mission today to find otters. I have it on good knowledge. Well, I say good knowledge. In the past 20 seconds, I've read an information board and I'm gonna try and regurgitate some of that information to you now. <laughs> but apparently in the last few years, little families of otters, and I'll just show you by the water's edge here. Little families of otters have made this area their home. Now they haven't been seen very frequently and they're normally seen when the light starts to die down at dusk and at night time. But we're gonna see what we can see on this beautiful nature reserve walk in my hometown of Shrewsbury and see if we can find some otters. And this looks like a rather tranquil spot to start our adventure. And just in the distance over there, this is where I put my David Attenborough voice on now, I can see a couple of ducks relaxing by the water's edge. I'm gonna see how close I can get to them before they fly off. Let's see what we can do. I don't really know much about ducks. I wish I, I, wish I knew more about ducks to be able to say in this little segment, but I'm gonna try and keep my voice nice and hush and, and whisper here as I approach. And there we are, as close as we can get to these two ducks who look to be bathing in the water. I shouldn't have really said water. It's not very uh, proper English, is it, Brendan? Not very David Attenborough at all, as they bathe in the water. I wonder if we can get just a little bit closer. I can't get them anything to eat. That would have been the one thing that would have really been the ace up my sleeve here. I've outstayed my welcome. Let's carry on with this walk. <laughs> That's a nice little segment to start us off there. A little bit of nature at this, well, well-named nature reserve. Let's carry on on our little journey, shall we? Good afternoon. You haven't seen any otters by any chance, have you? No, no. no otters? No. no, okay, no worries. He hasn't seen any otters. <laughs> Fair enough. I thought I'd ask the first local I come across. No, he ain't seen any otters. Maybe we might, who knows? Oh, what have we got here? Ah, this could be a couple of otter holes, maybe. Anybody with particular expertise on otters? Can you shine some light in the comments on what it is I'm looking at? Seems to be a much larger hole down here. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can see much. Something's been dug out by some animal, hasn't it? The sun just glistening off the water there. What a great place to live though, in Rebrook Housing Estate, just to come down here into this beautiful area and walk along the brook, listen and see a bit of nature and just completely escape the housing estate, only stones throw away, literally. Good afternoon. Hello. You haven't seen any otters around here, have you? No, but I saw a kingfisher. Oh, okay. Not an otter. Right. A kingfisher last week. I'm on the hunt for otters today. Ah, uh, lovely. <laughs> I've seen your, your films. Oh, you have? so good. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy them. It's nice you're coming around here. Yeah, yeah. I thought, do you know what? This is the one place in Shrewsbury over the past 12 months, obviously going through all the lockdowns that I haven't yes. been to, I haven't visited. Oh. So I thought to myself, to yeah, beautiful day. Do you live on the other side? I live on the other side of Shrewsbury, but yeah. uh, I thought I'd come out. I saw a little information board saying about uh, otters being sighted here. Yes. So I thought, why not have a little look? And if, uh, if we don't see any otters, at the very least, we can see some beautiful views. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> seen any otters either, so I'll keep my eyes open. Keep your eyes open, yeah. <laughs> yeah, enjoy, keep making the films. Oh, good. thank you very much. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. It's actually happening more and more often as I make more videos around Shrewsbury, getting recognized a lot more. 
And no, as a disclaimer, I did not pay that lady to say what she said. <laughs> my information serves me correctly, I believe this is an old weir. And I have to apologize for the makeshift haircut, guys. Lockdown's hit me hard. <laughs> but yeah, look ahead of me. What a fantastic area to have in your backyard. And just in front of me, you can see Rebrook Housing Estate. What a brilliant place to be able to just walk out of your front garden and come down and enjoy. And in particular, this house just here. You can imagine on a hot summer's night, having your window open a crack, and just hearing the water flow past as you go to sleep. How lovely is that? Wow. So yeah, I think that's a weir, I think. Oh, wow, look at this. Ah, just walked past. A little bit of evidence to some otters possibly. These look like otter footprints. What do you think, otter experts out there? Looks like a little slide down into the brook, maybe. We could be on the trail for some otters. Most probably not, though. <laughs> After speaking to a couple of locals, people have said that they're normally seen at night or at dusk, and they're very rarely seen in the day. But at the very least, I can show you some beautiful views in Rebrook Valley. Just looking across the brook here, as the river shines down through the trees and reflects off the water. I'll share this beautiful image with you guys. How lovely is that? Wow, this looks quite cool. Looks like someone's been felling trees and making makeshift little bases here. Wow. Who else remembers doing that as a kid? I certainly do. I remember getting some chicken wire in an old hedge bush at my school some years back now. Completely against health and safety. I'm putting a bit of chicken wire in this hedgerow so we can hide from the teachers. Putting some carpet down. Unfortunately later it turned into a crack den, which uh, <laughs> meant we couldn't use it anymore, unfortunately. But uh, we had fun while it lasted. That's a bit more structurally sound than the one I made as a kid. Oh wow, look at these. Looks like man-made little steps that have been dug out here. That leads us down to the water's edge. That's one of the main things that I really love about doing these walks, is the addition of birdsong. It just makes a walk that would otherwise be filled with traffic noise in the distance. As you can see over my right shoulder there, you might see the odd flicker of car paint go past as it goes through the bush. It kind of drowns it out a little bit and you can just focus on the birds and the stream. Beautiful. This one's left a stick here. Is that like a makeshift walking stick? Should I use it as a walking stick? Why not? Let's go for it. I think, yeah, there we are. I feel a little bit more grandiose now. That'll do. We're off to a winner now. How do I look with my new walking stick? I've actually been thinking about investing in some walking poles for more adventurous walks that I start doing once lockdown restrictions start to lift. Maybe this will get me used to the method of using a walking pole. Well, maybe not, maybe it's not like a plonker. Oh well. We're out having a bit of fun today in Shrewsbury. So I'm gonna leave you here at Rebrook Valley in Shrewsbury after we've just completed 
probably one of the nicest walks I've done in Shrewsbury. I hope you guys have a lovely day. And in fact, I'll leave that just there. Hope you have a lovely day and fingers crossed you'll join me for the next one.